Hi YouTubers, welcome back. Please like, subscribe and share our videos so that everybody can be blessed. You know, I've been asked about my religion and may, many people keep asking me, what religion are you? And my, and my answer is always the same. God didn't make a religion. He gave us a way of life, a way to live by, words to live by. And that's what he gave us. And the evil one has made religions, many religions, and good people are in those religions. And they've been preached to, deceived, you may say. They've been preached to, to live a certain type of lifestyle. Now, when you talk, when we talk to these people, you know, everybody is righteous. Everybody keeps saying, oh, don't tell me, I'm righteous. I'm it, you know, they don't want to hear anything, but I'm going to say this, every single knee will bow down to Christ, to the Father, and when, when tribulation comes, you will change, you will. And you're going to go through these experiences and say, God save me. You will. And Christ always says in the New Testament, unless you're born again, it ain't going to happen. And Christ says in the New Testament, that many shall say in that day, Lord, Lord, didn't I prophesy in your name? Didn't I heal the sick? Didn't I do wondrous miracles? And he's going to say, I knew you not. Now, why would these things be said? And you know why? Because the Bible says, especially in Revelations at the end, the last page, do not change one word from my words. Not one word. You know why? It's because his people will, will be deceived. They'll be led to do other traditions of men. God wants you to change today. And then we're going to uh, point the way what's going to happen in that day if you don't want to change today. And that's okay. Okay. Because many people will want to be self righteous until the day comes, which your pastors, they're going to continue in the same way. But seek God, God's way, not whatever pastor is teaching you, whatever pastor is deceiving you. Don't. Let me tell you what the Bible says about righteous people. This is all the way back to when we were being given God's word. This is how you're going to know if you're self-righteous or if you're putting yourself as a righteous person in a religious system, okay? Or if you're going to be righteous in God's system. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness 
if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God, as he has committed to, commanded to us. So, <clears throat> God has his word. And what we all need to do is see if the church, the place where we go, where we're considering that they are the ones that are teaching us, leading us, either into righteousness or into damnation. Either they're leading us God's way or they're not. And let's not be hard-headed. Let's not be hard-headed. You know, you need to throw away that pride. You can't just be standing up firm and then, you know, uh, face God and say, hey, you're doing it wrong. God gave you commandments. And then lots of people are going to say, wait, we're saved by grace. Well, in the commandments, in the third commandment, it says that God shows mercy unto thousands of them that love him and keep his commandments. But remember the Sabbath day. It's the only one that says remember. Because God knew that in this time, especially the end times, you were going to forget and you were going to be doing it wrong. So God said, remember, from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is God's holy day. He wants you to rest. If we don't do these things now, then you're going to find out why God didn't pick you as one of the 144. Then you're going to know why you're going to go through all this tribulation. You're going to know. Because who's right? Man, doing it his way, changing God's holy day to another day, or is God right? God is not going to subscribe to wickedness. God is not going to abolish his holy day that he created for wickedness. He's not going to do that. We have to submit to God. So, Either you submit, or we go through tribulation. So please, bow yourself, humble yourself, submit yourself to God and His righteousness, so that we all may be of the 144. God bless, take care, shalom.